Hey up team, how's it going? Welcome back to the first time Iron Man progress videos. This is the series where I play the Iron Man game mode for the first time and try and make myself not look like a complete moron. If you've seen the previous videos, you know that's not going so well. Last video, we did some Guardians of the Rift, got up to 55 Runecraft, and we also got 43 Prayer, which will allow us to do some more quests, which is exactly what we're going to do in this video. In my downtime between recording and editing, I stayed at Motherload Mine, which I was doing at the end of the last video, and got up to 59 Mining. But now I think it's time to crack on with some quests. So the first quest we're going to start off with today is Shadow of the Storm. Let's get it, boys. It's also worth mentioning that if I sound like shit, I, uh, I'm ill. So I've, uh, I'm undecided as to whether... <coughs> I'm undecided as to whether I should voice over some of this when I don't sound like complete garbage, but if some of the if some of the video is voice over later on, you know why. I do hope you've uh, been enjoying the progress far. I appreciate some of them have been a bit all over the place and watching them back, it's like, are they entertaining? Like, do people actually even give a shit? I'm having a great time making them, so to be honest, even if people aren't enjoying them, I, uh, I'm going to keep making them because it's a good fun. It's a, it's a good fun. It's good fun for me to make them, so fuck them. I've always liked this quest because it just helps me bring out my inner goth. What have I done there? What? Oh, drank from water skin. Fucking hell, scared me. Yeah, my inner goth. All black clothing. Black is the blessed. Blessed. Black is the best colour. I'm just trying shit. Just trying so, just trying so much shit. I'm so fucking out of it. Get the golem on board. The golem's a fucking legend. Look at his eyes. No, oh, don't use it on the cyclone, you fucking mad bastard. Let's go. Not really sure if this is how you're supposed to kill this guy, but uh, it's what we've resorted to, considering he was absolutely bumming me. Jesus Christ, that took so long. And we're banging the XP in ranged. Get in. Went from 13 range all the way up to 28. Nice. Can wield bone crossbow now. The uh, next task that we're going to do... Task. The next quest we're going to do is uh, big chompy bird hunting, I think, now that we've got the range level for it. Probably one of my least favourite quests ever. Just, just fucking think it's annoying, but got to do it, so let's let's uh, head over to uh, Rant. Never mind, don't have the range level for big chompy bird hunting, you need 30 range, so uh, we'll find something else to do. Hang on. I've decided that I'm going to do Hero's Quest, but I need one more herb level, just so... I don't have to boost for it. Need 25 herb and I've got 24. So I'm just going to clean some of these herbs and stuff and uh, get, a, get a herb level. Then find a partner for a hero's quest. And there we have it. 25 herb law. Uh, there we go. Just clean some Haralanders. The main reason we're doing this is obviously for recipe for disaster. It's a prereq, but you also get uh, some range XP as well, which would be good for uh, getting the level for big chompy bird hunting. Let's go! It's come to my attention that I uh, forgot to bring my anti-dragon shield and therefore I may be about to die imminently, so let's just run for it and fucking hope for the best. Thank God. Let's catch this lava eel, eh? So that's the lava eel for Hero's Quest. Gonna go get the ice gloves now from the Ice Queen. Shouldn't be too bad. I think the worst part about doing this quest is the Thieves' Armband, which is the one that you need someone else to help you with up in Brimhaven, but hopefully we can get a clan member or just join the uh, the grouping thing like you do with Shield Shield Varav, so shouldn't be too bad. And that's the Ice Gloves uh, achieved, I guess. Got, found, searched for, and found, and equipped. Hell yeah, it looks like I'm about to do some dishes. Wash them dishes up, boy! Right, let's get out of here, because, uh... It's quite scary! Just found a shooting star for the first time ever, even, like... I've never even found one of my main before, so this is quite exciting. This is the part where it, I can't actually mine it, because I'm not high enough level, but... Come on! Oh my god! Get in! Right, well, we're going to be here for a little bit, then buzzing. Never mind a shooting star before, so uh, this is quite exciting. Turn my fucking fan off again. So, finished mining the shooting star. Don't really know how long I was there for, but a good old while. Got 771 stardust. And now we can uh, continue with the quest. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, we're off to Entrana, aren't we, to get the feather? Alright, let's go. There we are then, got the fire feather. I definitely came over prepared. I fucking brought chaos runes and stuff for a big old fight 
completely forgot that it was only level 2. So I just one shot it. Um, and now we go back and now there's uh, the annoying part of the quest where you've got to get a friend to help you. And it's annoying for me because I've got no friends. <laughs> no, I do have friends. I just... Uh, <laughs> none of them play this game. <clears throat> so we found someone for... Hero's Quest, just doing it with them now. So shout out to Guff Love, Guff, what the fuck is he called? Goth Love, Goth Love X. Gotta love the fucking Goths, what a legend. Ah, and that's everything we need for the quest completed. I'm gonna go use the game teleport to Berthot Games Room and go hand it in and become an absolute hero. Hopefully it'll get us up to 30 range as well so we can uh, go straight on with big chompy bird hunting. And then to be fair, I don't think we've got too many quests left for Recipe for Disaster, but well, there's a couple that we don't have the requirements for yet. There we are. Access to the Heroes Guild, 29,232 XP spread across 12 skills and we're up to 116 quest points. And that's 39 HP, 46 attack, 30 range, 26 herblot, 35 smithing, total level 1100. Nice. While I'm here in Berthorpe, I figure I may as well do tr Troll Stronghold, so get that one uh, out of the way as well. would just like to say that I totally didn't die to uh, this Goblin General, and I totally didn't include it in the video because I was embarrassed. I didn't know it could hit me for 38, right? Just one shot me, I didn't even have a chance to react. And that's the end of Troll Stronghold. We can now make law runes. Probably going to go do Jungle Potion now and then follow that up with Shiloh Village, I think. Or maybe, yeah, Shiloh Village. Or do we, ju or do we just knock out Big Chompy Bird Hunting? Ah, fuck it. We're going to go do Big Chompy Bird Hunting because I fucking hate that quest. Take it piss out here. Fucking as if. I don't have my mining pick with me. Should I go get it? Yeah, let's go get it. Just hit 60 mining with the shooting star. Um, I mean, to be fair, I probably would have preferred not to find this star because I need to go to work in an hour. Ah, that's the end of Big Chompy Bird Hunting. Ah, that's the end of Depths of Despair. We've now got 100% Hosidious Favour with the uh, Favour Certificate. And we got a memoir page as well. Ah, um, that's Jungle Potion. Ah, um, that's Shiloh Village. That's Elemental Workshop 1. A little bit of face sucking there, nice. <coughs> that's Elemental Workshop 2. 39 smithing, 47 crafting. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. I mean, thank the fucking lord. This is such a weirdly long quest. I don't remember it being this long. But uh, yeah, that's uh, Fremic Trials done. Shed load of XP and loads of different skills. See what we uh, see if we got any levels from that. 44 strength, 41 defense. Cool. Good. So, just starting Horror of the Deep now. Hopefully I don't die. Probably will, because uh, you've got to kill some it. So, it'll probably end up killing me. She's pretty standard, really. Gonna have to fucking concentrate here because I did this on my main that had much better stats and I had to teleport out because I nearly died. So I know deep down that this is gonna be a fucking struggle, regardless. What the fuck am I doing here? Um, so yeah, I think we all know the outcome of this. We'll try our best, eh? We'll fucking try our best. Right, I've got first one safe spotted, so that's pretty good. Same safe spot for Mother, I think, but we'll have to wait and see. I think this is the first time that I've actually fired a crossbow or fired any form of range weapon anyway, so... Oh, bugger off, Posty Pete. Oh, now is not a good time, mate. This thing's still pretty ugly as well, isn't it? I mean, Christ. Pretty good model. I mean, to be honest, this safe spot is uh, absolutely OP, so I wish I'd known this the first time I did this quest. Uh, yeah, literally nothing to worry about at all. Genuinely a bit of a piss take of a quest, actually, so... GG, no re. That's the end of Horror of the Deep. Up to 33 range, 45 strength. And completing this gives me access to God Books, which is always nice, though completing them is gonna be a lot more challenging on an Iron Man than it is on a on a main, obviously. And I think we're going for Z the Zami book. Cool. Uh, not that it matters, because we can just buy them all from him anyway, so. Yeah, you can buy them for 5k and then fill them up with pages from, from clues and that, but we haven't got any pages, so it doesn't matter. 
but Horror from the Deep was another quest for Recipe for Disaster. I think the only quests we've got left now are Temple of Ikov, which we need 40 range for, Desert Treasure 1, which we can't do yet either, Monkey Madness 1, Underground Pass, Family Crest, and Legends Quest up to the bit where you go to the Kazri Jungle. But I think we've got to do a bit of skilling before we can do any of these. We could probably do Underground Pass. Can we do Monkey Madness? Uh, we could probably do Monkey Madness to be fair, but can't really be asked right now. So we'll see. We'll see where we go now. Right, so I've got an hour and a half before I need to go to work. And I figured I may as well try and do Underground Pass. Because I just thought to myself, I really like doing quests that are really plain and simple. I just don't want a challenge right now. Underground Pass, what a, just, it's a walk in the park. God, I'm really excited to just spend two hours, be late for work, and still not get the quest done. And so it begins. Oh, good. Let's go. Uh, I don't have any um, combat armor really, just wearing my graceful. Probably a bad idea. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably actually a very bad idea. Oh god. Well, fuck. Not bad for someone who's never shot a bow before, eh? One shot kill. One shot rope slash. Easy. No, I want me lobsters, man. What? What the fuck, man? Ah, oh, yeah, I've got my uh, path from my when I did it on my main marked out. Is it the same? Prage. No, it's not the same. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? I can just fucking tell. I've just got a bad feeling. So it's here then. Is it here? No. Great. How the fuck do I get out there? Right, so it was just straight across. That was uh, it's pretty easy. Please tell me this restores prayer. Thank fuck for that. I forgot to get prayer. <clears throat> I forgot to pray at the uh, Adi Monastery before we started, but and that could have been horrendous, but. We're all right, we're all right. Before we go any further, I'm just gonna uh, boost the brightness because it's uh, a piss take and I can't actually see anything. There we go. Get a bit of brightness in there. The really great thing about this quest is that you've got to come through here again anyway. So if you feel like you're doing really well now, just wait till you've got to come back through for, uh, is it Regicide you've got to come back through here? I can't remember, but I know you've got to come back through. Which is just fantastic, because you're guaranteed to forget about these fucking wall traps. That's what I did last time on my main. Just ran all the way through and nearly fucking died. I am an intelligence specimen. Time to commit a uh, equine murder. R.I.P. Absolutely KO'd. This is definitely the worst part of this quest. The amount of RNG is just it makes me want to die inside a little bit, I'm not going to lie. But we're uh, we're getting there. We're getting there, I think. I don't know. It's always good that you can uh, safe spot these guys. Didn't know this on my first time doing this quest either. Just means that there's one less thing that I can die to. I am a safe spotting genius. I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end of the quest and this has been nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I don't know whether it's because I've got... 60 agility whereas when I did it on my main account I think I probably only had like I think I only had like 40 or something but yeah I've literally just flown through this well yeah that was it I mean cool easy quest fucking hell I don't know why I hyped it up and there we have it that's underground pass complete got the Ivan's staff can use Ivan's blast it's not the upgraded version though currently and I won't be able to afford to upgrade it anytime soon 3k agility 3k attack Five quest points. Love to see it. Did we get any levels? 47 attack. Nice. Right, so as far as I can tell, in terms of recipe for disaster, we still need the following. We need 11 more cooking levels, one more smithing level, three more magic levels, 40 quest points, and then in terms of the quests that we still need to do, we still need to do Temple of Ikov, Desert Treasure 1, Monkey Madness 1, Family Crest, and starting Legends quest. So not too bad really. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll get to work on them shortly. Gonna knock out some relatively easy quests now just to get my quest points up because I still need a fair few of them. And gonna start with Observatory quest because I'm pretty close. And that's it. It's the end of observatory quest. Let's go do clock tower now. And look at that reward. <laughs> Absolutely crazy reward. Figured I'd tackle another quite easy quest and just get a uh, rag and bone man knocked out. I don't know why I've not done it already to be fair, but here we are. 
There we go. Rag and Bone Man 1 complete. 1 quest point, 500 cooking, 500 prayer. We're up to 140 quest points now. Need 35 more or something like that. But there's plenty of quests that we can knock off and uh, we'll get that quest point requirement. No dramas. So after doing the underground pass, took a little bit of a break from doing questing and stuff. Um, had a couple of days there where I was just sort of messing around and just doing odds and sods. Um, here are the stats. Can't really remember what I've done and what I haven't done. I've definitely done some mining, um, done some farm runs and stuff like that. Um, some birdhouse runs and now I've just done some tempros. Thought process being that I needed some fish uh, to get my cooking level up and yeah, about to um, net the, the reward pool so I figured I'd record it. Let's see what we get. Not bad. Got some raw fish which was kind of the main point. Got some steel nails, be nice for construction. And uh, three caskets. Let's see what we get. Some diamond rings, emerald bracelets. Oh, more emerald bracelets. Nice. Uh, gonna continue on with uh, some random stuff until I decide what the hell I'm actually uh, gonna do next. Probably uh, some form of quest, but we'll see. So I wanted to do hand in the sand quest, um, mainly because you can claim the buckets of sand from Bert and it'll help with the crafting grind in the future. But I needed a crafting level, I was at 48, I needed 49, so I just blew some glass. But as you can see, we're now at 49, so gonna finish this invent of orbs, and then go and do hand in the sand. So for hand in the sand, it turns out that I need white berries, and after a quick Google, it turns out that there's some white berry spawns on Lab Dragon Isle, which means a trip to the Wildy, which means banking everything of value, and heading there and hoping that I don't die. Planning on getting there by canoe. I think that's possible, so I'm gonna take a shitty little axe. And yeah, get there by canoe. Just realizing now that I've not brought a slash weapon, so I fucking pray to Jesus that I don't actually need one. But chances are I probably do. Oh dear, right, so let's have a look. Let's see, oh, I don't need one. Fucking legendary. What's William got to sell me like? Oh, team capes. No, cool. Oh, this could be bad, actually. Shit. Oh, no. Right, yeah. No, it's not gone well. It's not gone well at all. White berries. Please don't fucking one-shot me, little bitch. Don't do it. Fuck off. Shit, we can't teleport out either. Oh, this is where I just die now, innit? I'm gonna be fucking fuming. Go, 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 go. Easy game, easy life. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but when I do eventually start doing Slayer, once I've got all the uh, equipment and stuff that I want for it, i.e. decent barrows, gloves, potentially torso, etc, etc, I, uh, I want to start doing Wildy Slayer. Um, mainly because I've never done it before and I think it'd be quite good to get some points and stuff and help me make the wilderness more comfortable for myself and yeah should be uh, quite good fun I don't know if I'll do it the entire time but I'm at least gonna do a few a few tasks here and there at the start of my slayer journey in the wilderness and then we'll get deep into slayer I think and just knock out a lot of that because it is uh, it is my favorite skill and that's the completion of hand in the sand and that's also up to 50 crafting which is good make ruby amulets so we can make strength families now and we can make mahogany and we can make mahogany birdhouses hey look it's me when i just wake up on a morning a bit weird that jagex put me in the game but you know what complain make a little cameo fucking out was a bit sketchy that ran out of food <clears throat> dragons attacking me never a good time really but we got it done Killed all the shamans and stuff, got the crystal, just heading back to the tower now, and then we get a fat magic XP drop. 15,250 magic experience to be precise. There we are, that's the watchtower completed. Big XP drop, 5,000 coins, and we can now use the watchtower teleport spell. I also wish they would make it so this fucking virgin little feral vampire would just piss off. We're gonna go and give stealing from the stone chests underneath uh, mulch 
in the Lizardman Temple. Uh, we're gonna go give stealing from them a go. Uh, I've never done it before. Apparently it's a combat free way of getting a Xerix Talisman. And yeah, it gives you some gems, some thieving experience, and basically just pissing around, just trying out new stuff and uh, having a bit of a good old time. Very inefficient, but you know, can't always be 100%, can it? Now I uh, quite literally have no idea how the, f oh there, lizard dwelling. I'm gonna say I don't really know how to get even into the fucking temple, so this will be interesting. Please don't poison me. So, oh yeah, here we go. Stone chest. Get in. Let's see what we get from first one. Fuck it, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Let's turn this up. Let's turn this up. A bit of brightness. A bit of brightness. Praise be to 117 HD. That rhymed. Anyway, what do we get? I, f I failed. Nice. And I failed again. I got a ruby. Oh, it's also worth mentioning that you get Zerishian fabric from this, uh, which is ideal for me because it's uh, the Zerishian armor set is actually going to be the uh, best in slot mage stuff that I'll have if I uh, manage to get enough of it. Oh, fucking get in. Get in. Too fucking easy. Right, well, ideal. Let's charge that up with the three fangs that I've got already. Nice. I should probably get around to doing some more uh, Zaya stuff. Um, still need some favour in Lovercane, Pisk and Shazian but we'll get around to that eventually while I'm deciding what I'm going to do next just going to go do some blackjacking could always do with some more money on the account um, and some thieving XP as well and blackjacking's pretty chill so we'll uh, do this for a bit I suppose and then uh, continue on I do need to get 65 fishing for Karambwans so Tempros might be on the cards as well for a couple of levels. Because then once I've got Karam ones, I can just AFK that for a long time. So I've got the fish barrel. Right, so that's the end of the hour. <coughs> we gained 152,000 thieving XP in this hour. We went from 66 to 69 and a bit. Um, and we made 126,000 gold. Which is pretty good to be fair. Um... I'm now going to leave and do Temporos because mentioning it earlier, I kind of feel like doing a bit of Temporos for a bit. Um, and yeah, being able to AFK fish Karambwans at 65 will be lovely, so may as well go get the uh, fishing level for that. So, did a few extra games of uh, Temporos, got up to 65 fishing, um, so I'm going to go and start my Karambwan AFK session. Um, but first, before we do that, we've got some rewards to take out. We've got 50 permits, so let's see what we get. I honestly don't, I don't know if I'm all right. Like, I'm just trying pure shit. I haven't even done this quest. I don't know why I thought I'd done this quest, but I haven't done this quest. So we need to do that, essentially, is what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, that's what we're uh, going to do now. So before I do the quest, I need 34 Herblow so I can make a agility potion. I think it's 34. Yeah, 34 Herblow. So I'm just going to get to work cleaning some of these herbs I've stockpiled. And in true Iron Man fashion, I figured I'm going to take another detour. And do Zoga Flesh Eaters, which is going to give me 2,000 Herblow experience, which will get me up to 32 and a bit. But yeah, Zoga Flesh Eaters shouldn't take too long to complete, really, I don't think. Guys, it's a right fucking struggle, this. Fuck me sideways. Finally, Jesus Christ. Ooh, Org Bones, nice. And that's the end of Zoga Flesh Eaters. Praise be for the uh, pool of refreshment. Couldn't be bothered to go and make a bloody uh, wrestling balm, so uh, just made a little uh, ring of jeweling, came over here, pulled the refreshment, sorted me out. So we can continue with Taiwani Trio now. So my plan for trading Herb Law for the first time on the account is I'm going to go and buy chocolate bars from both of these bakers in Ardy, and then run back to the bank, and while I'm doing that, grind these down into chocolate dust which I'm then going to use with my Harolanders that I've got and make energy potions and there we have it, 34 Herblore literally didn't require hardly any fucking chocolate dust at all um, I'm just going to keep making these because why not 
So, I think we've uh, got everything we need for Tybo One Eye Trio. Uh, we've got our agility potion, got some uh, anti poison, got all the stuff that the quest helper says I need. And yeah, let's head off and do this quest. Can't even remember where I got this spear from, but luckily I uh, had the foresight to keep it uh, a myth spear for the quest. Gonna absolutely annihilate a Joga now. You've never seen anything fucking like it. I'm like a modern day Robin Hood. Fucking, it's absolutely ruining me. Look at it, ugly bastard. I'm gonna have to fucking start prayer flicking this. Oosh. Yeah, have that. Oosh. Oh, it's slower than I thought. Never mind. I don't know what tick cycle it's on. What am I doing? Oosh. Oh, God. I'm fucking well good at this. Oh, hey, we've got a range level. Nice. Fuck me. It's a good job I got 65 fishing in it. Fucking burnt two of them. Can I burn the third one? Of course I can. Of course I can burn third one. Hey, get in. Oh, and there we have it, fellas. Tybo 1A Trio completed. Loads of XP for us. Up to 148 quest points now. And we can AFK Karamb ones. Hello, hello, hello. So, just taking a little bit of a quick break from AFK fishing Karamb ones. To keep you updated, up to 68 fishing now. And I think we've got like 2,300 or something Karamb ones in the bank. Gonna keep doing it, but I got some clues, so I figured I'd take a little break and do some clues. So here we are, beginner. Good, medium, oh, easy. Sorry. Good, and the medium range of boots. No, cool. That's fine though. Be good for the future. Right then, team. So obviously the time between this clip and the last clip is instantaneous pretty much for you. But for me, it's been about 10 days. I've been in Turkey on holiday and I haven't recorded for 10 days, obviously. I have still played a little bit um, on the iPad, just on mobile. So um, I've done a couple of farm runs, birdhouse runs um, and that kind of thing. Nothing serious. But anyway, this video is far too long, so I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I do apologise for this video being completely unhinged and me being absolutely mental for the majority of it. Um, it's quite crazy what um, paracetamol and just being delusional with a head cold and just feeling terrible can do. Got quite a lot done this video though, um, a fair few quests, did um, a lot of progression towards um, Recipe for Disaster, which I'm quite happy about. Next video, not sure what I'm doing, honestly, it feels weird to even be playing this game on a computer again. Um, so I've gone off to figure that one out. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, it was quite a good fun editing because obviously I've uh, I've not seen some of the footage for probably like two or three weeks now is when I first started recording for this video. So watching it back and uh, seeing how delusional I was is uh, <laughs> quite amusing. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.